Ask her did buy. Deleted. You accidentally left your cocaine at the White House. What do you do now? Start a full-blown investigation into whose cocaine this might be. Wipes nose. Along with releasing a strongly worded statement condemning whoever had the cocaine, it was probably some domestic help. Don't bring it up to anyone. Pretend it never happened. Exactly. Like you're supposed to go on the news man the government always steals. I left my 8 ball in the Oval Office right? So, I try and get my shit back. And they throw me in jail my guy. That's that bullshit. I mean, it's my coke. Head to the Winchester, grab a pint, and wait for this whole thing to blow over. Don't point that gun at my mum. Don't point that gun at Barbara. Wonder why the hell I was at the White House. You fucking left me there man. Nice try, FBI. Not today, CIA. You move on, man, because it's gone now, just gone. But it was the last of your stash. Someone out there has the greatest I did cocaine at the White House story ever. Country music legend Willie Nelson once smoked weed with President Jimmy Carter's sonship on the roof of the White House, a private and now infamous historic moment that the former president himself later confirmed. It's not your cocaine anymore. It's property of the United States of America. Uncle Sam wants you to give him more Colombian marching powder. He's not addicted, he just likes the smell. I did not have sexual nasal relations with that woman powder. I didn't inhale. Mine? How will they ever know? You wrote your name on the bag. Ask for it back. Clearly no repercussions are going to happen at this point so might as well. And you can drive 170 miles per hour to get there to pick it up. And take a picture of the speedometer while you're at it. I mean it's called the White House for a reason. Joe Biden actually has to be the coolest dad ever. Strippers and blow at his sleepover. Shit granddad though. Make sure the heroin stash in the toilet tank is still there. Probably call a lawyer because chances are if you feel comfortable enough to do lines in the WH, you probably work there, and your fingerprints are on the baggie and on file. Either that or just a visitor, who'd probably be okay if you don't have a criminal record, but I'd I'd still be sweating bullets. Gonna end up being some lobbyist lol. Ask if I can get back into the secret room and cocaine lunch to pick it up. Get more. The only correct answer. Casually walk away. Whistling. I'd like to think there is some brand new junior intern at the White House that reported this to the Capitol Police, and everyone else is pissed at that guy because every non-porous surface in the building has been covered in a fine layer of residue since the Reagan admin. Exactly what I've been thinking since this story broke. There is no fucking way this is the first time cocaine has been found at the White House. I guarantee half the people investigating this have done cocaine at the White House. Hope that daddy gets re-elected so I can find the rest of my stash. This one is fun because it works both ways. Call dad. Ask him to bring it home. Call the big guy. Relax knowing the media has my back. Call dad. Call the big guy and tell him you fucked up again. Tell dad? Call lost and found. They call it the White House for a reason. Blame Trump. Call Scaramuxi and ask for tips on the best way to get coke into and out of the White House. Nice try, FBI. 
nobody leaves their cocaine anywhere. I can't tell you how many bags of coke I've seen on the ground. People leave drugs all over the place. Nice try Biden. I call my dad and ask him how I can illegally use his name to make money. You hope you're related to the president so you aren't prosecuted. Enter a period of mourning. Sleep with my late brother's wife. Blame it on Trump apparently. Claim that your name is Hunter Biden, and get off all charges of course. Sell access to my father to Chinese and Ukrainian energy companies to afford my next bender. Call the big guy.